health challenge remains a global concern and more than any other time, there is need to train more personnel to tackle present and future problems. This is one reason the establishment of Glory College of Health Science and Technology is good news in the ears of the people of Kogi State. With a temporary site at St. Barnabas Secondary School, Kaba, Kogi State, the college has programs such as medical laboratory science, community health, environmental health and health information management. Proprietor of this great institution is a pastor, a father, Pastor Tio Okpatola, who is in Kwara State. So for his love for this environment, he bring this school down here for this environment so that the people can be knowledgeable and this is the force of a kind in this western uh, part of Kogi State. Recently, members of the Medical Laboratory Science Council of Nigeria were at the college on a verification exercise as part of efforts to kickstart the Medical Laboratory Science program of the college. After an assessment of the lecturers, the team went on to look at available facilities before proceeding to Kaba Teaching Hospital, where potential students will also receive practical trainings. Resource verification, we just want to see what they have on ground to run the program they want to run. What they have on ground in terms of manpower, infrastructure, and um, auxiliary facilities like the hospital. So that's just what we're here to see. It's like a fact-finding mission. The program you want to run, do you have the personnel that can carry it? All cadre of manpower. Is the school really willing and ready? As in management commitment, we're looking out for that as well. And uh, we're looking out for the, the cooperation you have with the auxiliary facilities because the school cannot have a teaching hospital. But they will need a hospital where their students go to train. So this is the hospital. We have come here to see how ready the laboratory in the hospital is to receive the students and teach them. So we're also interacting with the hospital laboratory staff at all levels. So basically that's what it is. The equipment we have can sustain the program. Different equipment for different disciplines can sustain the program. And with that, and even the personnel, because if equipment is there without personnel, it's useless. The graduate of the institution should be able, you know, to carry out basic routine laboratory diagnosis. You know, so that is to say, we, we, we come out producing competent, reliable, you know, medical laboratory technicians. You know, you can rely on for result accuracy and precision, you know, which of course will help the clinicians. So in all, all these things will eventually add value to our primary health care, you know, at our level, state level, and beyond. We really need it, we need it so that it will, it will decongest, you know, the, the only one, you know, owned by the state governments today. You know, over admissions and what have you, this will come to, to, to bring a relief. And also, let me also add this, that if this school comes to be, you know, it's going to provide job opportunity for the immediate community. You know, our youths who are just roaming about. The current medical lab and more are still coming. They are still waiting for the accreditation of community health extension worker, which will make the school boom. As the management of the school maps out plans to make the college one of the best in the state, prospective students have been assured of quality education in a serene environment with adequate facilities to aid learning. From Kaba, Jonathan Omajali, NTA News.